Okay, guys. Um, I'm I'm training this stuff. Um, you know, finger drumming. Okay. So um, I'm using Serato here, but I'm using Windows too. So uh, I don't recommend you using Windows to do that because there's a lag that definitely is boring and don't let you do that with precision precision I, I don't know in English this word so um, don't let you do that correctly and very very good so so you can you can you can train at home but definitely if you want to do that in a club you should be using the standard for DJing that is Mac okay because you have a lag here that makes makes you take mistakes sometimes you, you press one time you have no answer so you you know barely press again or you have two sounds instead of only one so there's lots of small stuff that don't let you do that properly and in a club definitely will be like a cue for you so uh, don't do that okay so I have um, another small detail here that I, uh, I found a solution for for example you have here six six slots for for samples but the controller has eight pads so in the first bank bank a you have two pads here and that are not by default mapped so you have two 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 pads off here even if you move the the bank you have six more pads bank b bank c bank d so in the bank a you have six pads with with sounds but you have two pads here that are, are not uh, being used uh, because they not by default mapped so the solution is you have to go here on setup here in, in the MIDI panel here okay you need to hello hello Serato hardware remapping okay when you do that when you do that you know you see here uh, you hello you hello the software accept new configuration for mapping so you can load in sound i i've loaded the, the first one that was here but you can load in sound here and for example when you click here midi uh, immediately you are able to choose which control you wanna you wanna map and you can click on it so you can press here the pad so now is the assign it to MIDI input okay and you can do that twice you can do that one more time here and you can press here and will be there assign it to MIDI input so you can create your your cue points and you can include uh, parts of a track um, with your stuff here okay I'm very beginner on this stuff so I'm not a specialist if somebody has a better idea you can answer the video you can you know do anything you want I don't care because I'm sharing my first impressions about that um, so and that's it so try finger drumming okay and you can so you can turn off the map here and you can create your your cue points for example let's create a new cue point here okay let's try to do that on the sampler but definitely there's a lag like you can listen 
So Windows is not appropriate for this kind of stuff. You can press, but definitely uh, we need we need uh, I need a new computer. <laughs> it's my fault. Let's do that here again. There's a lag that definitely don't let you do that professionally. So the solution exists, but the best solution um, is uh, being using uh, club standard gear. Okay. Have a nice day. Thank you for watching. And I'd like to hear your opinion answers. You can, you know, you can answer with bad ideas. Um, I'm very interested in anything about finger drumming. You can cooperate. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.